In Kenyan prime business stats, right now my name is Peter Wakaba. Now, old age poverty is now a reality for many hitherto well-to-do Kenyans, as most Kenyans retiring at the age of 55 and above see their incomes fall by over two thirds in return. Research indicates that many retirees live on about 22% of their pre-retirement salaries against the recommended market standard of about 66%. Experts have called for sensitization of workers. Also lobbying for reduced You're making him buyer. The current geopolitical environment where economics, politics, boundaries and governance are, cro are, are closely intertwined, a comprehensive yet macro investment strategy for the fund is today more than ever essential for our current and future success. While the focus of retirement funds investment strategy has in the last year been on the political arena and its inherent challenges, we now acknowledge that that season is past and our steps forward must be re-energized towards the long-term investment strategies for our members. I think the important thing to notice is that we save our money to take care of ourselves in retirement. And in my view, retirement is a time to be enjoyed and not to be a time to suffer. Now, unfortunately, in this country, quite a large number of pensioners uh, usually struggle. Um, there is a large group of pensioners that Mr. Kilavi and I look after. And you'll find that, on average, those guys have a pension of maybe three to 5,000 shillings a month. And three to 5,000 shillings a month uh, wouldn't really help us. Well, our apologies for the poor quality of sound on that microphone right there. Now, moving on the blaze, Be Your Own Boss BYOB TV show came to an intense end on Sunday night after 25-year-old Brian Ronald walked away with a hefty 5 million shilling Kenyan grand prize after 10 weeks of aggressive competition. This marked the conclusion of the second season of the show, which aired exclusively on KTN Home between the 5th of February and the 15th of April, 2018. The winner is Brian Ronald! Brian a second here. <laughs> Brian, Brian, come here. Oh, there you go. Yes, Sylvia. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. The journey has been tough. It hasn't been that easy. At times we have to, we had to go hungry. At times we had to work so hard, but we don't actually get what we were working for. But when I came here, I was so serious, I was so straight on what I wanted. And I'm a prayerful person, like I ask God what I want and I really go for it. Uh of course, we know that you're eagerly awaiting the coming season. Now, moving on, sweet potatoes are a breakfast choice for many due to their high nutritional value and are commonly boiled before consumption. But did you know that they can also make bread? As Judge Maringa now reports, what started as a way of fighting malnutrition levels in Meru County has seen sweet potato farmers adopt value addition technologies that are putting real cash into their pockets. Take a look. Located within Maua town, this building is now a beacon of hope for residents due to its activities, sweet potato value addition. However, these are not your ordinary sweet potatoes, but the carrot C breed. They are first weighed on the scale before being washed thoroughly. The peeling process follows. The carrot C sweet potatoes have a similar color like carrots. They are rinsed and put into this grinder, whose output are thin chips of sweet potatoes. They are later laid onto these trays before being put on this dryer for over 24 hours. Uh, we get raw materials from the farmers, yeah, and for the farmers, we help them as in uh, financially, yeah, because we buy the sweet potatoes per kgs. The dried chips are then ground on this machine. The output, sweet potato flour. The flour then undergoes the baking process. <laughs> Minutes later, the final product, 
sweet potato bread. They are very high in, in vitamin A. They provide the calories that we need for the day. And that's why we are encouraging people to take it. For those who prefer them deep fried, the unground chips can be eaten as fried crisps. The Sweet Potato Value Addition project was started by sweet potato farmers who sought alternatives for the crop. Like any other, this project has had its fair share of challenges. The demand of our brand around Mawa town, it is around 3,000. And we are producing just 700 pieces of loaves by every day. That is according to the capacity of machines. The project has also created employment opportunities to skilled farmers. But due to the scarcity of the carrot sea vines, the processing plant has a huge task of satisfying the high demanding receptive market. Initially, farmers used to like boil them and take them for breakfast and maybe lunch. But now we came up with the idea of a value addition so that we'd provide a variety of products. Malnutrition levels have reduced immensely, something that farmers here take pride in. From a sweet potato to sweet potato bread, such value addition technology not only provides alternatives to consumers, but also provides economic empowerment to farmers. George Maringa, KTN News in Maua, Meru County. Well, of course, there that being some sweet news for farmers coming out of Maua County. And the contention, of course, being whether it is flour or flour. Well, we now want to take a quick look at the barometer of the entire economy. That, of course, being a quick look at the markets coming right up. Well, on that conclusive note, 